Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Last Humans Tech. What I want to talk to you about today is the if-then-else loops and how you can use those. So we're in our scripts directory. I'm going to jump right in and start a script number four and we're going to put the top standard line in here that I put in all my scripts. So the first thing we're going to do is ask the user to choose a number between 1 and 10. Now your command, which is going to read the user's input, it's going to allow them to type something, is the read command. And I'm just going to type any variable at all to track that. I'll just call it n because it's a number. Now we're going to start an if statement here. So we're putting in if the user's input is less than 1 or if the user's input is greater than 10 then I'll type it first and then we'll discuss it. The number was not in between 1 and 10. So remember, it's only going to use this then section here that we're about to type if they did not type it correct. If they did type it correct, it's going to jump to an else much further down in the script. So let's say here if they didn't type it between 1 and 10, we're going to have them try again. Please choose a number between 1 and 10. And we'll ask them again. Again, we're going to read that n. And again, we're going to enter a different loop now, basically stating the same stuff that we did before. Which we will discuss in a minute. So we're saying, if again they didn't type it correctly, for the second time, then you kind of lose your patience. You go, I give up, because the user just isn't listening to you. However, if they did type it right the second time, it's going to go to this else statement right below, and it's going to say thanks. Your number was, and we'll refer to that variable with the dollar n. Then we will close that particular script that little nest there. Now we're going to refer back to the top which I mentioned and I said if if they did type it correctly here it's not going to go into this then loop it's going to jump right down to this else further down so we could skip all the middle section here the number you chose was and then you do have to close your final loop here with the fi. So you, you open your if loops with the if and you close them with the fi. So let's go ahead and save this. I think we probably have it right. So let's look at our permissions here real quick. You can see that the script 4 does not have execute permissions. So like I do for all my scripts here, I'm going to add executable permissions for the user slash owner, which is the first column. So I did that with the chmod command with the user plus executable there, as we've talked about before. And then you can see that the script for now does have an X in the user owner, showing that is it is executable, and I will be able to execute it. So let's clear our screen. Let's go ahead and test this. So I'll just do it correctly first. I'll choose 6. The number you chose was 6. That makes sense. That's That works correctly, right? Let's try again. Clear the screen. This time I'm going to choose 45. Of course you can see me typing it, but it's just for the matter of the script. It's going to tell me the number was not in between 1 and 10. Please choose a number between 1 and 10. I'm going to again confuse it and I'm going to type 89. I give up and it ends. 
let's try the final scenario here. So I'm going to first choose it incorrectly. I'll choose 57. The number was not in between 1 and 10. Please choose again. Okay, this time I will do it correctly. I'll give them a 3. Thanks, your number was 3. So those are the three different variables that we talked about in the script. Let's look through it one more time. So we're asking the user to choose a number and you're going to read it and that allows the user to type an input from the keyboard. It's going to say if this number is not between 1 and 10 then do this. But you can jump right away if it is between 1 and 10 it's going to skip this then section and it's going to jump to the else down here. So if they do it correctly we go right to the end of the script and we're done. But let's say we go in here, if it is not there, it's going to tell us this is not the correct number. Please choose again. Again, read it. Same thing again here. If it is not between 1 and 10, then you're going to give up. But if it is, then it's going to use the else command instead of the then command. So it's going to go straight to else, tell you your number, and finish the script with the FI. And that is a simple if else then script and shows you how to work with numbers a little bit. Hope you enjoyed the last humans tech and hope you come back again sometime.